Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to use form controls in Expression Web Form. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to use form controls in Expression Web Form. In this first exercise, we are going to discuss about how to create an HTML login page in Expression Web Form. Once again, I repeat: how to create a HTML login page in Expression Web Form. Let me see right now. So, open Microsoft Expression Web Form just by clicking the icon. Okay. So, this is your Microsoft Expression Web Form environment. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to create an HTML login page. Okay. Fine. So, first, what I am going to do is. So here, I'm going to insert an image, and before that, I want to go for horizontal line. Okay, a line will be drawn horizontally now. I want to insert an image. So this is an image. You just click on this image. When you click on this image. Automatically, the picture dialog box will appear where you can able to browse for the picture. You can able to select the picture by clicking the desired location and address. To last for alternate text, I will say FDI. Click OK. Now I want to resize the image. Just click it, move it, make it smaller or zinc. So you can able to resize it as you like. So now I'm going to type Fisherman Twining Institute Salala. Now I want to make this bigger. It's very small. I want to make this bigger. How? Just select the text, and here as a default size, you just click here. And here you can able to see double X large thirty six pt, and make it bold. Okay. Next, once again I am going to insert an horizontal line. Okay. Then, so now I am going to create a login page. How to create a login page? Okay. So before here inside the body tag here you can able to see the body tag after body tag first I'm going to insert a form tag form followed by the name for the form let's say me and close the tag and cut it and paste it above the body tag you may ask a question sir why you are doing this because if you are not using the form tag each and every time when you use this form controls a form tag will be inserted so that is not a good programming so you insert a form tag manually then so i am going to insert a table where is the table here is the table insert the table let us say two columns And four rows. Let us see. Okay, now just select this. Right click, modify. Why? Because I want to merge it. Okay, here is the split cell, mid cell. First, you want to select the mid cell. Now, I am going to say as login page. Okay. Let us say login. So now I want to give you some color. Just click here and click right here. This is an select a color as you like and click apply. Okay. So click here. Go to select. Let us say this row and then now apply this. And now, if you want to change the font size, here you can able to change the font size and make it bold. Let 
uh, say if you want to change the font family here is the option change it okay next step so next step let us say enter the username okay so here i want to insert what i want to insert i want to insert and text box to enter the username so go to form control here is the form control bar you can able to see plenty of controls like advanced button drop down box forms group box okay so first i'm going to use what we want to use so input text right this one input text just double click now you can able to see this your text box okay and you can able to resize the table okay. and next enter the password but in case of password the password should be hidden from others by using special symbols so you cannot use text box so what you have to use is here you can able to see input type a password or input type hidden either you can use input type hidden or input type password now i'm going to use input type password okay and then i'm going to make this select right click modify makes sense okay and then i want to insert command button okay so let us say input type what do you want to do you be need a button okay so in form control you can search for button where is button where is so here you can able to see input type submit or reset okay first i will be using input type submit double click okay if you want to change the name you just double click the control it will takes you to push button properties where you can able to save change the name let us say name will be okay submit i want to change the value login let us say login so now it has been changed to login so i want to move the control right here so how to move this control okay and then right click so here let us see right okay and then i want to go for reset button to reset the value so input type equal to reset okay so double click to change the value let us say reset let us say clear and then I'm going for a new row because all login forms will be having one more option. What is it? It's a sign in as new user. Okay. Let us say just select this. I want to give an hyperlink. So I'm going to give the external hyperlink. Let us say www. gmail. com Like okay, okay. So now your login page is ready. You can able to minimize it. Fine. Now what you have to do is before viewing this in a web browser, you should save it. Here is your option save. Okay, so I'm going to create a new folder. Let us say login page. 
open it and give a name for the page login now you save this one now you want to run this okay now you want to run this so here click here to run see where you can able to see the username password login clear and sign in as a new user okay so now you can set your login page okay now you want to assign the border select it and here is the option let us say all borders okay so now you have created the borders and select go to our uh, table properties and here if you want to specify the width let us say 30 you can able to specify the width and apply it's very small so uh, I will change it to 40 apply okay and okay and now save this and preview it in a browser now you see a wonderful login page where you can enter your name and this in password you see user cannot able to see the value because it's a password okay you can clear why because this is a reset button if you click it will clear so this is an hyperlink when you click on this it will take you to gmail.com actually I don't have internet so it's not going so this is how you want to use form controls in Microsoft Expression Webflow. I think you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.